Hello Rob, how are you doing? I'm doing great, thanks for uh, having me on. I'm so glad actually you kindly offered to uh, give up some of your precious time here. Money 2020, Europe in Amsterdam, so in 2019. Last time we met, believe me or not, if you remember, was 2012 at a Finnovate event. I, I, I do remember. I, I feel like it was a lifetime ago, though. I, like I, was like, I feel like I was like 10 years old, and now I'm like 100 <laughs> years old. But well, what a, what that's a journey. What fintech, what, that's what FinTech will do to you. It'll <laughs> age you. No comment. But at the same time, it's probably well worth you know, the time, money, effort, blood, for what it is you managed sure, to accomplish sure. you know, just in a six or seven years, since 2012 at least. Yeah. Yeah. So before we start, I mean, uh, Cabbage, where small businesses get funded, which I like as a mission statement. Or, and just quickly, Forbes said recently that you had provided access to uh, more than $5.6 billion. We're actually up over seven now. Seven. Yeah, uh, keep driving. Who knows? I need to look at my time on my, <laughs> and, on, my uh, on my watch. Going up no like watch. every second, and uh, more than a hundred and fifty thousand. Now we're closing businesses. in on two hundred thousand. Here so. we go. So two hundred thousand, yeah. and also in Business Insider recently, you've been flagged as one of the most valuable startups as in the great state of Georgia. I guess in Atlanta. So one point two billion valuations, probably much more than that by now, uh, or market capitalization. So Rob, for those viewers who are not familiar with Cabbage, which is going to be very few. Could you please give us just a helicopter view of sure. what it is you do? Yeah. Sure. So, so when we started Cabbage, it was focused on providing small businesses a really simple way to get access to capital. So literally land on our site, give us access to a few data sources. Within minutes, we'd actually deliver cash to you. We still do that. You know, you mentioned the stats. We've delivered $7 billion in capital to nearly 200,000 businesses now. Um, but our mission is, is changing, and I, I think that's an important part. It's been six or seven years since we last got together. Uh, but our mission is changing, and we're um, going to continue to provide funding always to, to small businesses, but are expanding and evolving what we do to also include other financial services. Mm -hmm. We're fortunate to have a large customer base that comes back again and again, 15 or 16 times, a strong brand uh, in the space, and a lot of data about our small business customers. So it puts us in great position to be able to um, offer them other products and services that, are, that may be of value to them. So that would be through partnerships then with other um, No, actually we're building a lot of it. So we've announced uh, payment acceptance. Um, okay. So we're, uh, we're in pilot last year and we're actually still in a, in a beta pilot period, but we're gonna, we're gonna go to broader distribution uh, in Q3 in the third quarter of this year. Yeah, uh, and then we're looking at other financial services that you know, may be of value to our customers. We're really focused around solving the, the cash flow issues that small business customers have, and also allowing them to do it in a way that minimizes the amount of time they need to invest uh, in um, working on cash flow. Uh, because they entered a business to do something amazing, yes. let them go do that amazing thing. Uh, and we know actually at the moment as well, being a small business could of be painful course. as you know, so many hours spent on intention. And, and how much time do you want to spend working on the books and working on cash flow, right? Uh, I mean, you have to spend a lot of time. I know. Um, and it's not what you, that's not what you're expert at. So uh, so think about it as more of an autonomous cash flow solution for small businesses. So you're very big. You build a brand in the U.S. in particular. Let's yep. talk about international expansions. Can you share yep. anything on that, please? Sure, absolutely. So we uh, we partnered in the past with companies like Santander and ING to basically license our technology to them. Um, we're looking uh, a lot more, obviously, as you get large in one territory, you start thinking about how you might be able to expand and offer that product or service in other territories. So right now we're in active conversations. We're looking at um, a lot of different possibilities about where we might want to expand the Cabbage brand directly into those markets. Okay, yeah. So, uh, and with the banks, that was in white label solutions, so... Uh, Effectively, they've oh. been licensed technology yeah, with yeah, a okay. small co-brand, yes. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Thank you so much, it's fascinating. Uh, we're here at Money 2020 yep. in Amsterdam, uh, arguably one of the biggest, most meaningful uh, FinTech money events actually worldwide. And you're here, you've been invited, so could you please share and tell us more about your experience of Money 2020 and what you shared, the story? Uh, sure, please. sure. So I actually was at the very first Money 2020 in uh, Copenhagen, so oh, were, okay. yeah, I was, and I didn't you're make it You're a veteran of Money 2020. I, I, yeah, well, I'm at I'm a, every time, I feel like I should have some gold star on my badge should, for the actually. U.S. <laughs> uh, for having attended every Money 2020 in the U.S. Um, but I've been able to be here in Amsterdam the, the last year and, and again this year, and I've, I, I think the conference is terrific, and it's, it's actually very different than the U.S. conference. Uh, I think the content is great. 
um, the flow, the way they set this up, how they, um, how they you know, create interactions between uh, attendees, I think they've done an excellent job. And, um, and I think they bring a great, you know, I'm not tooting my own horn, I, I think they, you know, outside of me. Amazing I think speakers. Amazing no speakers, <laughs> outside of me. But, uh, but they bring the, you know, people who have information uh, and, uh, and who are willing to share it in kind of an authentic way. Uh, and that's, that to me is really important. When you have content, you want that content to be not programmed and, and you want it to be natural and authentic and, and you want it to actually be insightful so you can take that information as an attendee and, and use it in your life. Of course, yeah. No, no, I, I would agree with you. It's not just the quality of the speaker, but it's the format they come up with. It's the conversations they create as well. They're quite good to extend that online as well on social. It yeah. depends on the organizers, but yeah. here they're, they're doing a fine job, yeah? Um, the last question, because you're super busy, so I'm grateful again you're here with me, with us today. Being a leader, a very experienced you know, uh, company leader, CEO in the FinTech space, right? In 2019, according to you, what are still the key challenges to further accelerate growth when you're a FinTech startup or even scale up to some extent? Yeah, so look, FinTech doesn't move in a straight line. I, you know, I've always said, uh, for me, accelerating growth, we acquire small business customers. I've always said, uh, and pardon my language, but there are a thousand shitty ways to acquire a small business customer. We have to be good <laughs> at all of them. Which means that you know, your customers, especially if you're working on more of a retail level, and even though we work with small business, so technically business, they, you know, they, they operate and they, and, they, and they purchase a lot like consumers. Yes. Um, and so we have to be out there with our brand. We have to find every way to market and promote our product and service. And you absolutely just have to continue to be relentless. The competition is never going to be less than it, than, than it was the day before. There's always more competition. There's always smarter competition, and you just have to, you know, you have to continue. If you think you're doing it one way, and that's the way you can do it for the rest of your life, you're not going to be a success. You have to, you have to constantly evolve. You have to, you have to disrupt yourself a and challenge yes, yourself, transform I yourself. I totally agree with like that. My good friend Jim Maris would say in the U.S., and you must know Jim probably anyway. So thank you so much for your time, thank you. uh, Rob. I'm really grateful. I hope we'll see you in Las Vegas to give an anyway. You'll be I will there. be there. Yeah, of I can't. You will can. be and and I want to see those, stop giving me those stars you know, or whatever. Yeah, I want to yeah, see yeah. like like a right. five-star general or whatever <laughs> you yeah. are. Thank, thank you very you. much, Rob. Appreciate yeah, you take it. Care. Thanks so much.